the greatest American alive. This morning, I had a wonderful conversation with a beautiful American woman of the melanated type. Yes, she was a beautiful black American woman, but what was more beautiful than her face was her ideas. I said, holy Christ, I said, holy Christ, where'd you get this information from? Where did you find these thoughts? <laughs> How do I know this beautiful American woman was a woman? Because she had a child. Tell the truth and get some power. Project Daddy loves ovaries and mammary glands. I am an American man through and through. Love me some mammary glands. I'll digress. Let's get back to the matter at hand, not the mammary gland. Let's get back to the matter at hand, the hand on the mammary gland, and you just, hey, Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn ceiling. The greatest American alive, motherfucker, not me. The beautiful woman I was talking to she is the greatest american live because she started talking to me about beautiful thoughts and somehow i got to jesus and when i started talking about jesus i know y'all gonna get oh you about to get nervous oh you about to get nervous you about to get scared in your pants because i'm about to talk about jesus everybody loves them some jesus yes and i'm just wondering how come in the church in the church they try to make jesus like he's a little meek person they try to make jesus look meek but when jesus was so big you hear me jesus told me to tell you a lesson today the lesson of the day is jesus said knock you out come here <laughs> Come here. Jesus Christ was one of the most important people to ever exist in the history of the world. Even if you don't believe in the Bible, the story of Jesus is the most important story in the history of the world. Why is this? It is said that Jesus was talking to a crowd of 5,000 people. Can you imagine 5,000 people with no megaphone? Nothing like that. Just a big, boisterous voice. Yes. I'm chopping up these stories. I'm chopping these stories up. Jesus Christ was one of the, one of the biggest, baddest dudes that ever existed in the history of the world. How is this? It is said when Jesus picked his 12 disciples, he went to some guys and they was fishing. But when they was fishing, they ain't no throwing no fishing line out there. Hell no, they ain't doing no reeling it in. So they throw the nets. And as they cast the nets, they got to bring these badass nets back in by hand. Just forearms, fist over fist over fist. These are big strapping dudes who can pull nets of fish out of the sea. Amongst these big strapping men, Jesus Christ said, hey, you man, come here. Stop what you doing because I'm about to ruin. Jesus Christ was busting freestyles back in the day. He said, hey you come here drop your career and come and follow me jesus christ was one of the most powerful men that ever existed in the history of the world he was a rock star he was michael jackson before michael jackson was moonwalking this nigga was walking on water jesus christ was moonwalking on water tell the truth and get some power jesus christ is the most important story in the history of the world how is this when the party was almost over jesus was like i'm still not done yet they ran out of wine they came to jesus it wasn't they jesus mom came to him and said Jesus they had a wine and Jesus looked at her and said why'd you bring this to me woman he called his mom a woman <laughs> and she said I don't want to hear that right now Jesus just take care of it Jesus made the most best this wine it was better than the wine that was already serving so the host of the party came to Jesus and said why did you save the best wine for last we were sipping on some bullshit and you came through with the real shit Jesus Christ was the real shit the real deal holy field knocking niggas out the less of the day is Jesus said to knock you out with the truth you hear me it's time for Americans to be heroes what would Jesus do he would be the biggest baddest most boisterous person that ever existed he said come here we have to do this work you the greatest American live you have to understand that Jesus Christ said to knock them out knock out who every opponent against freedom we have to beat every opponent against freedom how the fuck do we get free tell the truth and get some absolute power huh I own myself in the physical form the digital form in the spiritual form i own all of me into perpetuity and if you want to profit off of me man then we're going to negotiate we're going to negotiate google we're going to negotiate facebook i'm going to negotiate my data as you sell me across the motherfucking world to be powerful in america you have to be honest tell the truth about your economic situation tell the truth about your mental situation i know you fucked up being poor in america is synonymous with mental illness huh you trying to figure out how to eat you trying to figure how you gonna get to work gas prices goddamn six dollars a motherfucking gallon ah! <laughs> Oh, shit. When it feels like the world is about to collapse, that's when American people stand up and become heroes. And how do they become heroes? They do 
the work. It's time to build America and make this the most bestest civilization that has ever existed in the history of the world. Donald Trump said, make America great again. And you got all in your feelings. Your feelings got so hurt because the motherfucker said, make America great again. Do you want this place to be bad or something? Do you want America to be bad or something? Do you want to be in last place, you loser brain ass person? Hey, come back to reality, huh? I don't want to be a victim. I want to be victorious. I don't want you to be no victim. I want you to be victorious. Be victorious, huh? Be victorious. Stop being a fucking coward. Tell the truth and get some power. Jesus Christ said, knock out these lying ass motherfuckers and I'm going to do that shit. Project Daddy's going to knock these whole ass niggas out. I swear to goodness, Project Daddy's going to knock out all these chumps, all these political chumps who are not talking political freedom. I'm going to knock out all of these spiritual chumps who are not talking about spiritual freedom. They're not talking about spiritual wellness. They're not talking about how to heal the American person. They're not talking about how to free the American person. They're not talking about how to heal America. Hell no, they're trying to take some money out of your pocket. These motherfucking energy vampire scoundrel ass niggas. Jesus Christ said, knock them bitches out and I will. <laughs> and I motherfucking will. Oh, the real deal motherfucking Project Daddy Holyfield knocking niggas out because Jesus gave me the authority to do it. <laughs> You punk motherfuckers, come here. The greatest American live, motherfucker. Yes, you are the greatest American live. Tell the truth and get some power. Subscribe to this channel. Show everybody this shit because motherfucking the algorithm ain't going to move it. Huh? The algorithm ain't going to move it, but my faith will move it. I believe. I'm trying to tell you I believe. Holy, I believe. The greatest American live, baby. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.